So let me explain to you guys how I was able to make $150 today or like $140. But yeah, it's gonna be kind of like trade week here. And I will show you guys the trade that I took. First, let's go on my one of our funding dashboard so that you guys can see that I took the trade. So this is $141 and it was today, as you guys can see over here. And yeah, let's go on the chart. Let me show you guys the trade that I took. So it was not one of the best trades as the risk reward ratio was not that good. It was only one to one. But if it had if it had hit our final take profit, it would have been a one to three risk score ratio, which that never happened. But let's go look at uh, the overall uh, of the market. So let me just hide this. So if you go in 30 minute time frame, so 15, 30, that's the market open for us. If you look before the market open, we did come check out like this low over here and even this over here. Now that was when the market opened. But yeah, so I actually had no bias today because there's two reasons. If you go on the daily time frame, like look, we are too much overbought. I would really want to see equilibrium or price to come fill into this daily fair value gap. Even though I trade on one minute time frame, I always keep in mind on the higher time frame where the price where the market wants to go. That's why I had no bias today. And again, if you go on the lower time frame, so now I trade based on liquidity sweep. So over here for me, we had like this, we had this high, but as a buy side liquidity over here, and then we had this hour low over here as a sell side liquidity and other one over here so as you guys can see before the market opened we already seen had seen a big push to the downside so it's common sense is there a good chance that the price wants to come take out this low and this low or it wants to just go higher and take out that high like think about it of course it's got, it wants to come and check out this hourly low and this low over here and that's what i took my trade based on so if you go on a 50 minute time frame Look, I had marked out this uh, 50 minute sell side liquidity uh, over here, both of them and some other liquidities to the downside that I wanted the market to take out in order for us to be bullish or market wants to come up, take out like these buy side liquidities in order for us to be uh, like bearish for the day. But when the market opened, as you guys can see over here, so this is market open. When the market open, we see a big leg to the downside, taking out uh, like this 50 minutes. Bro, let's go to five minute time here. Take out this low. As you guys can see, we took out this low and this low. And then I was just looking for a setup to take a long position because I was 100% sure the price wants to go higher because we took out those liquidity to the sell side that I wanted to see. Again, the reason this did not give a good risk score ratio and, uh, is because like this over here, like as you guys can see, all everything around here happened. Like this is not a good price action over here. It happened before like 1550. That's when I take usually my trade. Like imagine if we had something like the price until 1550, it had moved over until over here. And then we see like our confidence to go long off of now nah. price already had moved over like to the upside a lot so as you guys can see 1550 that's when i take usually my trade so my first confluence confluence liquidity sweep boom inverse for valley gap we disrespected this fair val uh bearish fair valley gap over here inverse fair valley gap and my third confluence was this uh bullish fair valley gap over here we see i touched into that and closed as a bullish I did got uh, like a bad entry. I really wanted to enter based on this candle over here, but I got a bad entry and I entered around this price range over here. And my take profit one was this high uh, over here. If you go on the five minute time frame, and this is the high that uh, like the leg before the leg down went down and took out those 50 minute liquidity when the market opened. And my take profit two was this high over here and this 50 minute high is third. And this hourly high over here is a final trade profit. So if you're wondering why I did not hold my position like until uh, like my take profit three got to get hit, 
it's pretty simple like if you go on SNPX 500 I could see that SNPX 500 was uh, the leading index so around around as you guys can see 1550 it already came and took out like this uh, 50 minute high over here and it took out this 50 minute uh, high over here so it was like common sense that the price wants to go lower because we had swept out like this higher time frame liquidity on S&P X500 as S&P X500 was the leading index so that's why I did not have uh, like I did not hold the position too long and I was in a, this high risk or ratio uh, delusional trader so I closed my position when TP1 got hit so this would have been my final take profit if it had got any entry around here but yeah this was my take profit over here uh first take profit and i did not close my position over here because i was like okay what if price wants to come fill into this fair value and push higher and that will happen i really wanted to see what's gonna happen with this fair value gap over here if you're wondering what i mean this fair value gap over here boom so as you guys can see when this candle opened can push into that and push to the upside and it was too close to hit our take profit too but i took off around 40 lots as i entered with 60 60 and left 20 to run for the final take profit and move my stop loss to break even and as you guys can see over here 250 pips and 60 uh lots and yeah and as you guys can see i quickly got stopped out the break even and like imagine if i had not taken off any profits over here and did not move my stop loss at break even today would have been a losing day for us because as you guys can see price did go uh like really lower and it's just common sense when you are coming into the market don't be greedy so i'm good with one to one risk or ratio and as long as i don't lose like making one person on the count is better than losing one person on the count and the other reason why i did this today and i wasn't confident in this trade that it wants to come over here and check out that because we already had swept out this higher time frame liquidity on uh the snp x500 as i said snp was the leading index today and of course we we're gonna see like a uh, big sell-off and that happened actually as you guys can see over here we saw a big sell off to the downside and yeah that was uh for today's trade and i have been in in winning streak for past three days and let's hope that i continue making money and uh, like on the count and i will post trade recaps every single day if even if i lose a trade i will post the trade recap so i'm back and, and yeah, see you guys on the next video.